Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about The Flash Season 8 and its season finale that is coming in just a couple of days' time. Currently, right now, it is Tuesday, and the finale is coming out tomorrow on Wednesday night. Superman Lois's finale is going to be on later tonight, so please be sure to stay tuned because my Superman Lois review is going to be coming out right after the episode comes out later tonight, so be on the lookout for that. But in today's video, we're going to be talking about something interesting. So we're going to be reading off from a TV line article. And this is part of their articles where they normally ask some people behind the shows for a small tease about what's to come. And in this case, they ask about the season finale because obviously that is coming up very, very soon. This article was released a little bit of time ago. However, now we're finally getting around to it. I had like a bunch of different videos I had to get to, obviously the reviews and everything. But in this teaser, they talk about a surprise cameo that's coming in The Flash's season finale for season eight. Okay, so this is how it goes. TV Line asks, any tiny hint about The Flash finale's surprise guest? And so they reply, I'm in a given mood. So I'm going to say that Danielle Nicolette was accurate-ish with her casting tease. I myself had certainly tempered expectations after some speculated it'd be simply be long absent baby Jenna and especially after Mia Smoke got ruled out but I legitimately exclaimed oh damn when I saw the character pop up in this coming Wednesday's finale. What's more the seed for this was very pointedly planted some time ago and it sets up a great performance by their scene partner. So let's talk about this, let's break it down. I have four options as to who I think it is, well actually it's kind of like five but they kind of link because they're from the same show and I'm going to be theorizing who exactly this surprise guest should be but let's first off go over what they said in this. So specifically Baby Jenna is not going to be in it, also Mia Smoke got ruled out so it's not Mia Smoke and Danielle Nicolette when she teased it a while ago she teased a similar thing and yeah this is in fact 100% going to be happening in tomorrow night's episode that is confirmed and that is exciting but as to the identity the reaction of the person when they watched it was oh damn because that was something that this person was not expecting so apparently as well the seed for this character showing up was planted some time ago and I think the key point here is some time ago that wording obviously hints that it was a while ago and it wasn't that recent so i think that kind of rules out one although i feel like that character that i'm going to be talking about first is probably very likely but it was more recent that this character was mentioned that character is none other than max mercury if you guys are flash comic fans you know max mercury and the reason I say it's less likely to be Max Mercury just based on how this is actually phrased by them saying some time ago it hints at oh it's been a while since they were referenced and with Max Mercury Barry mentioned him I believe it was in episode 15 and I believe that the showrunner of The Flash Eric Wallace actually said that that was a reference that they put in there on purpose knowing that at some point they will probably get round to Max Mercury and so this is not to say that Max Mercury isn't coming at any point in The Flash I think that they are definitely teasing this and they're going to lead towards it like they've led towards Mina Mina is a character from the comics that was introduced recently, she's pretty popular, and now we've had her and Godspeed, so now if we go a bit further back, we could go to characters like Max Mercury who could show up. And so, I would say this is the most likely cameo to actually happen, but I just have some skepticism about it just by the way that the TV line quote is actually worded. So that's just my personal opinion. However, I think Max Mercury would be a great addition to the show as I love the Flash family and Max is a great part of the Flash family in the comics and it would be so cool to see him, Jay Garrick, Barry, even if Wally came back, but also Bart and Nora all on screen together. But let's go on to talk about some other options. I feel like my second best option is Oliver Queen, aka the Green Arrow, aka the Spectre. Now, the reason I actually say Oliver is this. He was just in Earth Prime issue 6. If you guys haven't stayed up to date with the comics and with Earth Prime specifically, it's actually canon to the Arrowverse. And it's written by a lot of the people behind our Arrowverse shows, 
even some of the cancelled shows like Legends of Batwoman, those characters showed up in different issues, as well as some issues to do with The Flash and Superman Lois, and also some returning faces like Supergirl, Martian Manhunter, and lots of other people. But one of the main appearances in Earth Prime in its final issue was right at the very end, Oliver Queen showed up as the Spectre, teasing a future storyline because he's here, he's tested Bart and Nora in this issue, and has basically said they are ready for what's to come, and they are going to be absolutely crucial for whatever that is. And with him appearing, you would have to presume maybe at some point they intend to actually pay off Oliver showing up, because that means that Oliver is around in the Arrowverse, considering it's canon and written by a lot of the writers behind the Arrowverse. So maybe at some point in a crossover, we will see Oliver return as the Spectre, and it could most definitely be in the finale. I wouldn't put all my chips in him showing up in the Flash's finale. However, I think with him being included in Earth Prime issue 6, it's definitely more likely than it was before that issue came out because people have been waiting for him to show up, especially since it seems Steven is down to show up once again. So let me know down in the comments below, what do you think about this? Do you think it's at all possible that Oliver Queen could show up as the Spectre in this episode? Is there a way that he shows up and save Iris? Is that how Iris comes back to life? I think that is another angle where it definitely rings true and possible that he could show up because Iris is obviously in a dire situation right now. We don't know if she's actually dead or is she alive somewhere out there in the multiverse, stuck maybe in the still force. But the next person that I'm going to be theorizing that could be possibly showing up in the finale is a villain. Now, I think it's less likely that this surprise cameo is going to be a villain, only because the TV line article teases that it sets up a great performance for their scene partner, for whoever this surprise cameo guest is. So, if it is a villain, it would be, you know, a mini fight, or there would be some sort of confrontation, or maybe someone's going to be working with them. I don't know who this scene partner is, but my next guest is Red Death. Now, I think this is probably one of the least likely options only because it is a villain and he has been referenced before and that is why I'm saying that there is a chance it could be him because that is one of the most prominent references that people talk about that has never actually come to fruition and so I don't think it's absolutely impossible that Red Death could be this surprise cameo and tease him becoming the proper villain of say the first graphic novel of season 9. And especially since this season has been so speedster centric and if Mina sticks around and we have Bart and Nora more next season, I think having a speedster villain would once again be great and I've just been loving all of that. So Red Death, I don't think it would be like a speedster version of Batman, I think as I've theorized about in the past, if you guys remember any of those past videos. It would be someone else, maybe a Batwoman version of Red Death, and it would be Batwoman, but with speedster powers and bad. But as I said, there is always the chance that this surprise cameo is not setting up anything for next season. And so that's where I lean more towards Oliver Queen showing up, because that would be directly linked to Iris and bringing Iris back. And that is a current situation that we are dealing with. And with Oliver, the scene partner would be Iris, and I could totally see that being a natural thing that goes down. But let's move on to my final pick, and this final pick is two characters from the same show, from Superman and Lois. My number one pick is Superman, and my number two pick is John Henry Irons. Now, the reason I say this is, there is a link between The Flash and Superman and Lois right now. Although there isn't a direct crossover, with John Diggle showing up in the previous episode of The Flash, and showing up in Superman Lois's finale, there is a link between those two shows. The big question is, why is John showing up on Superman Lois at this point after he's rejected the Green Lantern ring and he's talked to Reverse Flash? So whatever happens in the Superman Lois finale could lead to this surprise guest cameo. Potentially, him talking in Superman Lois's finale leads towards what happens in the Flash's finale because it's coming afterwards, and so they would have timed it if that is the case. So maybe Superman comes over to the Flash and that is the cameo, or I think is actually a bit more likely to be John Henry Irons 
because John Henry is the one who is talking to Diggle specifically in the photos that they release for the Superman Lois season 2 finale. So I would say that is probably one of the best picks as well along with Oliver. Maybe I would go more towards John Henry Irons than Oliver. Even throughout recording this video, I've been kind of questioning who exactly could it be, who's more likely, who's less likely. I'm going to give you guys a little ranking. This is just my personal opinion, and I could be completely wrong. It could be someone that was referenced such a long time ago that I completely forgot about them. However, I would say number one is probably Oliver. I think number two is probably John Henry Irons. I think number three is Max Mercury because he was recently referenced. I think number four is Superman and number five is Red Death. Again, they specifically mentioned that this character was referenced in the past on The Flash. So I guess the John Henry Irons thing is a little bit less likely because I don't believe he's been referenced. Max has been referenced. Oliver's obviously been referenced. Superman's obviously been referenced because he's showed up before. Red Death and Max Mercury are the biggest examples of characters who have been referenced that have never shown up in the Arrowverse and so probably are quite likely, but I don't think it's going to be a villain. That's just my personal opinion and sorry for rambling on a little bit, but yeah, I'm still uncertain as to who exactly it is and I can't wait to see who it is when we actually find out when the episode comes out tomorrow night. But for now, we have one final thing to go over. This is the season eight finale photos for the episode titled negative part two or negative book two and the first photo we have is of bart so bart is in this episode as well he reunites with his dad bart actually stayed in the future in the previous episode i think this is barry because of his shoulder being on the left and it looks like him and so things look kind of serious i don't know what exactly has happened but they've probably come to the present because of what's happened to iris maybe Barry called them or they realized it that they had to come to the past in order to try and help them find Iris bring Iris back to life and in the next photo you see Bart and Nora Nora's just hidden behind Bart you got Barry Cecile in her meta get up and you have Allegra and Chester as well as what looks like Mina in the right corner in her costume and so they are talking directly to Mina it seems and talking about Iris though, the next photo, a great photo showing the true emotions of Barry and I have to say Grant, I know he's going to do a great job in this, man this looks so emotional right here, I believe this is right away after what we saw at the end of last episode when Barry realises, oh I just struck Iris, is Iris dead, the love of my life is gone and I just did that, so that is pure emotion and I would say 100% that is after that so that is an awesome photo okay so the next photo looks like a bit of the aftermath so I believe this scene occurs after the big showdown with the forces and with reverse flash as everything looks pretty civil here Bart and Nora are all dressed up and so is Mina and Barry is too and it doesn't look like they are in any sort of dire situation anymore and potentially Iris is next to Barry if they are able to save Iris. There is always a chance that they don't save Iris and the cliffhanger of this episode is potentially them trying to get Iris back next season and being hopeful that it's possible. However, I think the surprise cameo has something to do with Iris. I really do feel like that is a high possibility and that's why I'm still rooting for Oliver I think my number one pick would be Oliver, although it would be awesome to see someone like Superman or John Henry show up or a new character. I really feel like with them showing Oliver in Earth Prime, surely there is some way that they could have fit him in to try and bring back Iris if Iris was in fact dead. But that's about it for this video guys, thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any future videos. Also, you can click on the top right corner of the screen to watch my latest video and be sure to tune in to my Superman Lois finale review later tonight when it airs as well as my Flash review tomorrow night. So for now, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye.
icy room.